going on guys? Super excited today, we're out in Ocean Reef. I haven't hit this in like three months, so um, really excited to get out here and see what the fishery is like. Uh, we don't have any fresh bait yet. I did bring a frozen bonita with me. We're gonna try to um, chum up at a couple of the markers, pick up a couple grunts, maybe some nice size yellowtail for the bottom, and um, see if we can pick up some ballyhoo out on the reef. We're gonna be heading out of uh, Angelfish Creek. We're gonna be fishing Ocean Reef. If you guys aren't familiar with Ocean Reef, it's basically like North Key Largo. Um, it's about a few miles long. It's a reef system in like 40 to 70 feet of water and um, just runs north and south, basically starting at like North Key Largo and just runs north. Typically has a pretty good bite, so we're gonna see if we can get tight. Got the wife with me today. What's up? Let's see what we can do. guys just got out here to Ocean Reef just dropped our first live bait picked up some really nice ballyhoo today all of them were extra large so hopefully that means we're gonna get some extra large fish Nicole didn't like the size of the leader on her rod so she's gonna retie that we got the Minkota on spot lock right now we got about a I don't know two knot current light chop she seems to be doing pretty good we're holding still so Let's see if we can sit still and hit this for about a half hour, hour. Uh, if we don't get any good activity, we'll probably just make a little bump over. Small adjustments throughout the day to see if we can find the fish. There you go. Cole just got a nice hit. She's struggling a little bit, but she's putting it on him. Let's go. That could be a grouper. Reel, reel, reel. Reel down, crank up. Let's go. There you go. Just like that. Did he rock you up? Let's go, boo. You got this. You got him turned now. Let's go. Now's not the time to stop. It's a good fish, man. Could be a grouper. The way it hit. Go. Just crank, just crank, just crank, just crank. Go, go, go. Stop pulling, just crank. Go. Back up, back up. Oh, black grouper. No. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Look at that fish. Yo, Nicole. That's your fish? Let's go. He's strong. He's heavy. Look at this hook set. Look at this hook set, fellas. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby! Yes! I was bitching at it. You know what? You gotta let him fight. Love that. Oh! Oh, what a fucking fish. The second I saw that rod tip double over, I was like, that is your that is your black grouper. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Damn, Nicole with an awesome fight, man. Holy shit. Great job, Let's babe. Let's go! I was trying to tell her what to do. She took control, so I shut my mouth. And sure enough, baby, look oh. at that. Let's go! Except he has my fingers still. I'm sorry, buddy. But you're coming home. Whoa, nice I'm job. Good. I'm good. Oh, it's a good fish. I need to hit that thing hard too. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Big black this morning. Got a nice mutton right now. That's what I'm talking about. 
Man, haven't hit Ocean Reef in like three months. Come out here, first drop, huge black grouper. Second drop, nice mutton, probably like 27 inches. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Damn, he fought hard, boy. Came up and whacked that thing. Look at that circle hook. Right where it should be. Yo, let's fucking go. Beautiful fish. Another one. And another one. DJ Danny. <laughs> we the best. Let's go. The fish are biting today. Man. Ocean Reef. I sure have missed you. Let's go. Another one. All right, we got two nice muttons on the box. We got a nice black grouper that Cole caught. Let's see if we can keep this going. Never leave fish to find fish. If you're getting hit in the area, if you want to move around the vicinity, that's fine, but don't go more than a few yards, you know? Try to stay more or less in that same area. They're there for a reason. All right, guys, had a pretty uh, exciting first couple hours of fishing. It slowed down a little bit. We bumped around like 30 yards here, 30 yards there, kept anchoring up with the Minn Kota and um the currents really died down got about 0 0.8 0 0.8 knots on the drift so we're gonna go ahead and just drift this entire span of the reef and see if we can pick something up if we pick up a couple hits we'll probably circle back and uh, mark those spots circle back and anchor up with the minkota stay tuned yeah. i was gonna say if you want to meet up at uh go get something to eat over at black point but you're probably way far than by now Oh, hang on, I'm on. Oh, nice. Oh, good one, Frank. You brought the luck. Let me get out of your way. Let's see, right? Okay. Father-in-law called Hello? us to see where we were at. Oh, Danny's reeling in a fish. Hold on. <laughs> Got hooked up. Danny's reeling on a fish. That's what he told you, he's like... He's like, I'm hooked up, gotta go. And he puts it down. And he's like, you brought the luck. Oh, what is it? Oh, cute little baby mutton. Oh, no, that's a keeper. Not bad. A little 21, 22 incher. He will go home. Oh, gotta pay the babysitters, you know? They don't work for free. Got a little bit of a tangle up, but we're able to pull through. So, 
Set up another drift pretty long. We're out in like 95 feet. And we're gonna slightly drift to the northwest. So we'll you know we'll be bumping into like 85, 75, 65. Have two bottom rods out, have a flat line out. We're gonna see if one of them can pick something up. Cole's hooked up on the drift at 95 feet. their first cobia let's go Cole first black grouper first cobia just too shy to take but nice fight beautiful little fish go mutton number five on the boat actually that's mutton number six but the fifth one that we're gonna keep oh that's a good one It's time to go. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Any chance I get to fish, I'm trying to record it and uh, edit some nice footage for you guys. Do me a favor, share the video with anyone that you know likes to fish and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way when I post a new video, you guys get notified. Thanks again for the support on the channel. Stay tuned.